Hello everyone, this is Pam Dunn Barnes and I'm a registered dental hygienist in Southern Indiana and Louisville, Kentucky area. I'm doing this video because I want to help not only my patients but all of you get some little tips of my 44 years of doing dental hygiene. This is my opinion only, so remember that as I present the things that I present if you were in my chair. So first of all, if you've seen any of the other videos or what, I've concentrated on these beautiful teeth and how to keep the teeth and the gums clean. But there is another very important part that comes to play and that is inside and that is the tongue. So I did a little makeshift tongue here so that I could share about ways to clean this thing because it's very important to do that. The tongue is like a shag rug and it has little papillae on it that things get caught into, especially coffee or if you're a smoker, and will actually turn the tongue brown. I didn't want to do that for this video. But there are many ways to clean the tongue. So when you brush your teeth, don't forget about this. And I always tell the kids, there's something alive in your mouth that you need to take care of just like you would comb your hair. So there is the tongue. Now, first of all, there are things that you can use just like your regular toothbrush. Okay, and you can wet it or use it dry so it's a little stiffer. And of course, just clean it, kind of go back and forth. If you're a gagger, you're gonna to wanna to be really careful, but to get that clean. Many times there's a crevice in the middle of the tongue, so be sure to do that. So your regular toothbrush is okay, but I really hate to see the toothbrush be used on the tongue, you know, to keep the bristles in as good a shape as possible. So really what I suggest is a denture brush. And you can, whatever style you want, you can see there's a little tuft of bristles and some other bristles that are stiff. Do not use them on your teeth. And take that and use that to clean your tongue. Here again, that center tuft is really good to get that crevice in the middle or any crevices you might have on your tongue. So just take it, brush it round and round and get that all out of there rake it out. And speaking of raking it out, there was a, several companies that make a device that looks like this. And what you do is turn it, some of them hook together, and you have a little ring. You can take that on here, and it's a tongue scraper. And you take it and you scrape, okay? And you wouldn't believe what will come off even with that. So you have lots of things. You might even have things in your drawer already. You don't need to go buy anything particular, but this works very well. But one of the toothbrush manufacturers has done a wonderful thing. And as you might've seen in my other videos, I love these three toothbrushes. And there's nothing wrong with using them on, their on your tongue. But what I like about the Philips Sonicare is that it actually has a tongue cleaning device that comes with the unit. So I'm going to turn it on and it vibrates. I'm sure you probably can't see it. It's very quickly vibrating and there's little rubber tips on that. And so here again, I'm going to pull the tongue out. You can take that and just use it very slowly. Let it vibrate and clean with sonic waves that come out of the brush and, and get it really clean. Clean the sides if you can. Here again, it's gonna depend on your gag reflex. But this really works well. Okay, now Sonicare went a step above. They even made a spray that you can use on your tongue. So it's a mouthwash for your tongue. Now interestingly, um, it's made to use with any of the brushes. So just, you know, you just take it and spray it on. And then you can take your brush and work it in. You can take and use their toothbrush to help get that in there. And it tastes really, really good. I actually use it before when and as I'm brushing and then I rinse it out and then I spray a little bit back on again because it's just a good way to finish up the job of brushing and cleaning your tongue. So then you make sure your entire oral cavity is completely clean. So thank you for joining me on this video and I hope you never have to stick your tongue and never will stick your tongue out at somebody, but know that your tongue is not a harbor for all the bad bacteria. 
because that's going to in turn help your whole mouth, your teeth, and your gums to be healthier. Thank you so much, and I hope you like this video. Take care.